Tila County leaders are asking residents to stay off of the roadways and in place Wednesday and Thursday. In the meantime, locals are doing some last minute preparations like picking up sandbags in West Tooth. Megan Milato joins us live. She's at Osceola Heritage Park, one of those sandbag distribution locations. Megan, how busy has it been today? Yeah, this sandbag location located on Osceola Heritage Park property has been very busy since before it even opened at 8 this morning. When we got here at around 6, cars were already lined up, wrapped around the property, even spilling out onto 192 and Fortune Road. And this is what it looks like now. It's even busier than it was this morning. We spoke to some locals who were in line earlier, and they tell us that they're just hoping the impacts from Ian aren't as bad as they were from Charlie. When Charlie came, I lost quite a bit. This time I'm prepared, or trying to be prepared. Every time it rains a lot, I get uh, water in the back door, so I'm here to try to uh, be a little proactive. Osceola County residents spent the start of the week picking up sandbags in preparation for Hurricane Ian. Yeah, I don't want to go through that again. Officials with the county and the cities of Kissimmee and St. Cloud held a news conference Tuesday to share the latest. We will start seeing the impacts of the tropical force winds by 8 a.m. tomorrow, and those will not be subsiding to early morning on Friday morning. They say schools will be closed for the rest of the week as three shelters open at Celebration High School, Harmony High School, and Kissimmee Middle School as a pet-friendly option. A special needs shelter is also open at the Osceola Council on Aging. As of right now, there's no curfews going to be put in place. Sheriff Marco Lopez says right triple the amount of law enforcement officers will be on patrol and consequences for crimes will be enhanced. Um, when the governor declares this a state of emergency as he has, that's when we can enhance those uh, penalties and crimes on anyone that's committing a crime during these times. Sheriff Lopez also says he has deputies on standby to assist with any rescues, whether that be water rescues by boat or just by removing debris. Of course, they're hoping that that won't be the case. Live in Osceola County, Megan Mulatto, West News.